What's going on hikers? In today's video, we're gonna go through what's a good gear loadout for a weekend or a three day trip. Um, if you're like me, most of the time I'm going Friday and Saturday night, coming home Sunday so I can get to work. Uh, that's kind of the situation I'm about to be in because really soon I'm going with some other YouTubers to the Grayson Highlands and we're hanging out and we're doing a three day hike. So I'm gonna show you my gear that I'm taking. Uh, also, I wanted you to know I'm about to do the Vermont Long Trail, so that's in the works. Um, I'll, I have videos and they will be posted while I'm on trail, uh, but when I get back, that's when I'll start doing the vlogs from the trip. So if you wanna follow along while I'm on the trip, check out my Instagram, and I'll be posting stories and pictures on there while I'm on trail. All right, let's start off the video with what am I gonna wear while I'm on this trip in the Grayson Highlands? my weekend three day trip. The clothes on my back. What am I gonna be wearing while I'm hiking? Well, let me show you. And I'll show you a different outfit that I'll wear to sleep in. My Ultra Long Peak 4.0s, they work fine for my needs, so that's what I'm gonna be taking. I have some Ultra Gators so I don't get sticks and twigs and dirt and that kind of stuff in my shoes. I'm gonna start off with some Smart Wool socks and um, I'll change out the next day, the second day, so I can help prevent blisters. For underwear, working our way up, this is just your typical compression underwear. I like a longer underwear that goes closer to my knee to help prevent chafing. Um, for pants, I just have a synthetic pair of zip-off at the knee pants. Um, they're called Pursuit Gear. For my shirt, a Columbia PFG or Performance Fishing Gear shirt works great for me. Um, doesn't have the extra bulk of pockets. Then my buff. Buff I typically keep around my neck while I'm hiking during the day or sometimes I'll wear it kind of as a hat. I also count my neck knife as trail weight. I'm gonna try out this neck knife. It'll be the longest it's been on trail. Uh, I just bought it at Walmart. It's a Cricut brand or CRKT. And then my watch. And that would be all the clothes on my back. Let's take a look at what I am sleeping in. Lounging and sleeping. I may change out some of this, but for right now, I kind of plan on taking my Puffy. It's a 700 fill North Face Puffy, and it adds a little bit extra weight, but I'm afraid I'll get cold. So I'm packing my fears, I guess. I'll also have a fleece to go along with that. It's just a Columbia pullover fleece that I bought at Goodwill for like three bucks. For sleeping, I have the lightest pair of Reebok um, cheap synthetic shorts that I could find and then a synthetic just t-shirt. Here's that extra pair of socks I said I'd hike in the second day. So we'll set those aside. And to sleep in socks, I like to take um, a wool blend or just a wool sock to help keep my feet warm. This is wool blend as well. The big three, that would be your backpack, your shelter, and your sleep system. Right now I have the Osprey Atmos 65 liter and that is a mouthful. My buddy Jason Helmendaller, you should check out his channel. I think he's gonna let me use a different backpack while we're on this trip, because we're gonna be hiking together and it weighs, it weighs a lot less than this backpack. So you may, be, you may see me using some different gear in the vlog. The shelter that I have is the Lunar Solo. It's by Six Moons Designs. You've probably seen a sticker in the background of the videos. Um, this is a one person shelter, hence the name Solo and I actually uh, camped with it one night on my solo hiking trip. If you wanna check it out, check the link above. And then my sleep system starts like this. This is the classic Neo Air x -Lite. Um I'm using a Trekology pillow, and this is just an air up pillow. I normally would take more, but I'm trying to save a little bit of weight on this trip. And then this is a shelf liner. Some of you suggest me in the, in the comments as a hack to use that to help my, um, my sleeping pad from sliding at night. And it really does help out if you have to pitch your tent um, on a heel. This green sleeping bag may look familiar to you. This is just actually a stand-in sleeping bag. I'm not actually taking that one. Again, my buddy Jason, he has let me borrow a 20 degree quilt. And I think it's by Enlightened Equipment. So I'm excited to try out my first quilt. Are you hungry? Because it's time to take you to the kitchen. This is an aluminum grease pot by Stanco that I bought on Amazon for like five or 10 bucks. And I built a homemade cozy or koozie, however you say it. So that's what I cook my food in. I don't know how many milliliters it holds. 
This is just a scrubber that I use to clean my cookware. This is the BRS stove. It's like an MSR Pocket Rocket knockoff kind of, but it only weighs 25 grams, so it's pretty lightweight. I have a Bic lighter and I bring an extra. This is a collapsible cup because I like to drink my coffee in the morning with my oatmeal. And then of course fuel, have to have that to cook on the stove. And I keep a bandana as well to, to wipe out um, any of the cookware as well as if the tent has condensation. Now this, this is pot grabbers. I could use the bandana, but this weighs pretty much nothing. I know everything's something, but it weighs pretty much nothing. And it has saved my fingers a few times. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to show you how to make one. It's super easy and it's pretty much waterproof with this reflectix, reflectix tape on it. By the way, this cook set all does fit in here nicely and neatly. So I actually use my little pot grabbers as holders. And I stick all this in here and it leaves just enough room for my stove. And then I just tuck the bandana around the can. Voila, the cookware set. I should probably put these in with the kitchen too. So before we move away to the next category, these are just two one liter smart water bottles and the threads are the same for the Sawyer filters. This is the Sawyer Micro. Um, if you wanna know about the flow rate, I can do a whole nother video on it if you want, but in short, it's not as fast as the squeeze, the full squeeze, but it's okay, it gets the job done. What is this? I call this bag overkill because I did keep my food in it, but I wasn't satisfied with how big it was. So now it's, it's waterproof, so I keep my electronics in it. This is a RAV Power 20,000 milliamp battery. Yes, I know it is excessive too. This is the overkill bag. I do this YouTube thing. So to charge my camera and to charge my headlamp and to charge my cell phone, um, I take that with me. Next up, extra battery. And I also have more extra batteries, just a couple for my camera. I got a cord to charge the camera and the headlamp. I got a uh, cord to charge my phone. I have extra SD cards. I also like to keep an extra Ziploc bag, quart size, so I can stick my phone in it if it starts to rain. Speaking of, that is everything that goes on the inside of my pack. Let's talk about what goes outside my pack, starting with my rain jacket. I didn't show this with the clothing because I just I kind of have it sorted out as inside and outside the pack. I've shown you everything inside the pack. This, some of you have been asking about it. I bought it at Walmart. It's a Frog Togs. I think it's Extreme Light or x Light um, rain jacket. It run me like 30 or 40 bucks. I was tired of tearing those cheap frog togs. So I upgraded a little bit, but I don't want to drop big bucks yet on a really nice rain jacket. So far, it's kept me dry. The other two items that go on the outside of my pack in that same mesh pocket is my Z seat for quick access. And this bottle did say don't drink. <laughs> you know why? This is for those cold nights where you don't want to crawl out of the sleeping bag and you want that instant heater. You just, uh, well, you'll figure it out. I keep these on the outside of my pack if I'm not using them at the time. Um, this is a good budget pair of trekking poles. They're Cascade Mountain Tech trekking poles, and you can get them on Amazon for somewhere between 20 and 40 bucks, depending on if you want aluminum or carbon fiber. These are the carbon fiber, so I think they're closer to 40. And a little hack for you, if you do use trekking poles, just take you some duct tape and wrap it around the outside of the pole and then you'll have duct tape for whatever you may need. For quick and easy access outside my pack, I have a first aid kit. It's just a Ziploc bag and in it I have Imodium for those emergency situations. Um, you know what I'm talking about. I have some Vaseline that I use for my lips or um, it actually works good to start a fire with, so another little hack for you. Some triple antibiotic ointment. Um, I have some allergy pills, I have some Tums, and I have some uh, vitamin I, you know, the ibuprofen for all those aches and pains. For blisters, let me show you this. I've doubled down. For blisters, 
I have Band-Aids, I have Moleskin, which you can just buy at Walmart or Kroger or any department store. I also have, can you see it? Do you see that? This, dual purpose baby, this will sew up any tears you have and it'll pop any blister. And then a safety pin, which weighs about a gram, and just in case I lose this needle, I still have another pin that I can pop blisters with. I find that uh, poking a hole with a knife, that's just too big of a hole and I don't want the skin to tear where I have a blister. Brush your teeth, folks. Toothbrush. I got Q-tips in there because I like clean ears. Um, I have some travel size toothpaste and, check it, dental floss because you can use that to sew up a tear in clothing and you can use it to clean your pearly whites. Oh baby, the everything bag. I have little odds and ends in here. Sawyer, if you're watching this, for the love of God, would you not make your bags where they break so easily? I have broken the top off of like four or five of these. I'm tired of buying them. So now I just cut the tops off and make them scoops. Just drink through my water bottle. Sorry, rant over, I'm sorry. Also for the Sawyer Squeeze, I like to bring an extra O-ring with me because if you lose that, your filter doesn't really work. Then for starting fires, I got two things. I have a fire brick, which weighs almost nothing. Found those from Backpacking with Jason. Super awesome. And then I told you earlier, Vaseline. You can put those on cotton balls too, and then they'll go up in smoke, baby. An extra lid just in case I lose one from my water bottle. A repair kit, essential for an inflatable pad. My beautiful wife, she got me these, a mini deck of playing cards. Cut my playing cards weight in half, baby. Thank you, Bridget. Oh yeah, saving the best for last here, the poop kit. Deuce of spades, 20 bucks, really light. Toilet paper to wipe your butt. Baby powder, or um, I use Gold Bond. This is good for chafing, of course. If you use baby powder, you can use it as dry shampoo, so another hack for you. I like to keep an extra mini Bic lighter. Uh, for some reason, I keep it in my poop kit. I guess in case if I have to make a fire while I'm pooping. Last up in my poop kit would be a pack of wipes. Now typically, I take baby wipes, but these are a little bit different. Yeah, they're good for wiping your behind, and I clean my feet with them, but the reason these are different is they're biodegradable. Now, Survivor sent me these. I haven't tried them out yet. They gave me a discount code, jhox 10 I'm not making any money off that, but you do get a 10% discount if you enter the code when ordering these wipes, which I'll link below, and I'll, um, I'll link their website, Survivor and anything that you want to buy off there. I haven't tried any of it. If you want to just check it out, you can still use that discount code. Um, I'm excited to try these because they're biodegradable, 100% biodegradable. And in 28 days, they're gonna to start to decompose. So that's good news for me, and that's good news for people who want to do leave no trace. Last up, I have two things that I want quickly accessible. I have my Nightcore NU25. And I have just some Apple headphones so I can listen to music on trail. This, if you're asking my opinion on the light, it's a great headlamp, it's waterproof, and it's bright. It's got a pretty good runtime and it's rechargeable, which is good news for me because I'm carrying a crap load of energy in that power pack. As for the headphones, they come with my phone, so I'm using them. The trail is calling my name. I'm headed to the Grayson Highlands, and I'm headed to the Vermont Long Trail, if you want to enjoy those adventures while I'm on trail, make sure you follow me on Instagram and I'll be posting while I'm out on trail to give you some insight on how my journey's going. Then when I get back home, I'm going to be editing away and I'm going to be sending those videos to you so you can check out exactly how the trail was. Folks, if you liked the video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more, and kick the notification bell for the latest notifications. We'll see you in the next video.